Architects often say that projects can become testing grounds or, in some ways, provide experimentation and inspiration for that next big commission. In this episode, we're exploring several inspiring houses designed with wild architectural imagination. Welcome back to our channel. Meet Wave House, designed by Finnish architect Seppo Mantlia. Wave is a solid combination of solid wooden constructions, glass, and steel. The unique curving shape of the house was inspired by the design of boats and airplanes. The Wave House is a log house. Walls are made out of glass and log made of spruce. The curved roof is the most outstanding part of the house and is constructed of curved steel beams and wooden beams between them. Thermal insulation and its ventilation are combined within the structure. Outer water isolation is felt. The roof sidings are made of painted plywood. Most unique feature of the wave house is the curving shape. These kinds of shapes have been used in public buildings, but realizing these shapes in a one-family house is very demanding and unique. Another interesting thing is that the wave house is in a way a prefab house. It can be customized for the client and also enlarged with a lower level that can be around 100 to 600 square meters while the shape of the roof and upper floor remain. The specifically designed volume of the house to harmonize with the surrounding environment, the architect incorporated large expanses of glazing and he strategically placed all doors and windows to frame the best views. The open plan living area is oriented toward the lake and it leads out to a large cantilevered terrace. Let's visit and beyond Sosis Vlay Desert Lodge in Nambia. Suspended on the horizon where the earth curves away from view and the sky reaches down to touch the sand, lies and beyond Sosevlier Desert Lodge. Designed by South African-based Fox Brown Creative in partnership with architect Jack Alexander, a supreme emphasis has been placed on the surreal desert landscape in which the lodge is set. The architectural gestures are simply and yet extremely sensitive to the desert. By using the forms of the buildings to draw a series of geometric lines in the sand, the glass, rockwork, and steel pavilions form a counterpoint to the organic, sweeping curves and natural shapes of the surrounding hills and sand dunes. The ambition for the designers was threefold. Create an extraordinary experience for the visitor, design structures that are in harmony with their natural setting, and minimize the human impact on this sensitive environment. All three of these have been done through the intentional repurposing of the original 1990s buildings to craft a contemporary yet timeless and undeniably appropriate series of spaces. All punctuated with natural materials and a sense of desert-inspired luxury. Externally, the roofs have been clad in solar panels allowing the buildings to harness the harsh natural environment where temperatures often reach over 50 degrees Celsius and use the sun to create enough energy to ensure the lodge is entirely self-sustained. The electricity generated is then used to power a series of environmentally responsive air conditioning and water recycling systems to ensure the lodge positively affects the environment from which its design was derived. Let's visit House M, designed by Elphick Prum, architects in South Africa. Of paramount importance was the respect for the environment, with a particular directive to create a home that, while large in scale, displayed a relatively understated architectural character. Open, permeable living spaces with a focal kitchen as the centroid of the house, together with four interesting bedrooms, were clear desires and a love of the African bush drove the requirement for extensive outdoor connectivity, the selected materiality and interior furnishings. 
Clarity of structure using a hybrid of conventional masonry and concrete with light steel framed elements and a boldly expressed roof characterizes the approach. The design intention was to create a truly African home with a sensitive contextual integration. Simple sustainability methods were deployed in an appreciation of the local microclimate orientation and rectangular plan form. A strategy to use large oversailing roofs with a suspended elevated veranda structure and sliding folding shutters generated the basis of the passive climatic response. The filter solution to the envelope was successfully and extensively used to generate privacy, security, and promote cooling. Air conditioning was entirely discarded in favor of natural ventilation and the inclusion of gray water treatment, extensive rainwater harvesting, and a rooftop solar panels array to serve essential appliances were introduced as active solutions. Meet House Cañadas in Mexico. Located on rugged terrain, Casa Cañadas is developed from the premise of being part of the topography and respecting the existing trees, leaving the construction in the background and thus giving an honest answer to the area of application. This response gives flexibility to the function and gives the user the possibility of living the space in a more dynamic way. Characterized by its materiality and its structure, the project always tries to benefit from passive energy. It's closed to the outside with a translucent material to maintain privacy and take advantage of natural lighting most of the time, enhancing it with a central patio that functions as the heart of the project, supplying all spaces with natural light and ventilation. Thank you for the visit. Please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell to receive our periodic updates and be a part of the community if you haven't done so yet. Stay tuned.